think you got the skills to go pro, but your FPS drags you down. Here's the solution to this problem. So we have the GTX 1050 Ti OC edition from Zotac in the house. This is a low budget, high performance card. This card is aimed to you guys, the eSport gamers who need high frame rates at a low price and also for those who have a low budget. So coming to the low price of this card, how low is it priced? This card ranges from around 12,500 to 13,000 rupees. Let's talk numbers. So this here is a 4GB DDR5 VRAM card, clocked at a base frequency of 1392 MHz and boost up to 1506 MHz and it has 768 CUDA cores in it. So we have uh, three I.O. ports over here, one is the HDMI 2.0, one is the display port 1.4 and one is a simple DVI port. This card's got two variants. One is the 1050 Ti Mini and this one that we have right here is the OC edition. The only difference is with the clock speeds and the number of fans. That one has one compared to the two on this. The fans are pretty sufficient to cool this card. But who cares about the number of fans or the clock speed of the card? What matters with this card is the frame rates. So let's get talking in the benchmarks. And the frame rates that we get on Inferno and Nuke. Let's find out. So after having a look at the benchmarks, you could see that the card was delivering excellent performance in all the esports titles that we tested and also the major AAA titles pushing the card to its potential. So at the cost of 13,000 rupees, this card was having a difference of over 20 FPS with the 1066 GB edition, which is priced at 26,000. So for me, this card is really good for the budget. A big thank you to the guys at Zotac for sending us this card to review. We hope you send us more cards. <laughs> a big thank you to the guys at Zotac for sending us this review unit. Hope you guys like this video. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet. For any build related queries, message us on Facebook. Thank you. I'm in love with the cold.